when you first want to hit out soft baiting, for me, I found it quite hard. I've never really, I'd never really done a lot of it. So the one thing I did pick up from a lot of people was pick the day you're going to go. Like pick a nice day. Don't pick a rough, blowy day. Otherwise, it gets harder and harder for you to learn, and you'll get frustrated. And as soon as you get frustrated with fishing, you'll lose faith in it, and um, it just turns out, goes out the back window. Soft baiting is good because it's um, you get to cover a lot of area in a good amount of time. Um, I mainly use them um, from the from the land, uh, shore base, beach, beach and rocks. They are awesome um, in current. I generally use a heavier jig head for that situation because I like the um, fast fast moving action. And what I sort of look for is sort of the reefy outcrops, um, wash areas. The jig heads I'd use will be a, um, mainly would be a one ounce. Um, it's good for your casting distance to get it out away from structure for a start. Gives you a lot more time to uh, maneuver it back into the into the wash. Uh, basic technique is usually you want to cast ahead of your drift. So just a nice long cast. Keep uh, the slack out of your line. So as the soft bait goes down, your line will start getting a bit slack. So you want to just keep a little wind to it so you can have feel towards it and you'll feel it when it goes down and hits the bottom and then just twitch it back up so that's the simple way of doing it the preferred way that i like doing it is i'll chuck in a heavier jig head and um, because i'm not soft baiting generally in deeper water i'll just cast it wait for it to go to the bottom if i don't get a hit i'll wind it up slowly about five times and then if i don't get a hit then i just pull it back in recast and I found that um, generally when the soft bait is going down and I'm targeting the bigger fish, they'll take it on its way down. So if I'm not getting hit, I just bring it back up, cast as far as I can ahead of the drift, wait for it to go down. When it hits the bottom, slow wind up, similar to when you're using a Kabura style jig. And if I get no hits, I don't really bother wasting my time. I just bring it back up because I'm trying to get the bigger, bigger snapper so I get bragging rights on that day. <laughs> Heavy jig head, just cast it, just basically fish the drop. When it hits the bottom, then just wind it up, and redo that. Just to get the bigger ones too, I yeah. that works. I hate it when you lose it now. Oh, oh fuck, don't say it. Oh. It's a big. <laughs> now I can rub it into my mouth. It's a big. Holy oh, moly! <laughs> probably one one thing I probably would um, say with soft bait is um, just just think of them as a live bait and work them as a live bait. Um, yeah, you've always got a live bait on your rod, is what a soft bait is. Probably the best thing I like about soft bait is it's a clean boat. It's good sensation when there's a big fish on, it's taking 50 metres of line. Uh, probably can't beat it really. Majority of the fishing that have caught big fish now are caught on soft baits. So. An experienced fisherman who wants to get into soft baiting, uh, I suggest something like a, a 4 to 6 or a 5 to 10 kilo rod with about 8 to 10 kilo braid. Uh, 30 pound line, uh, range of jig heads from a uh, quarter an ounce up to one ounce, which is which is their range anyway. And uh, I prefer the the big the big soft baits. Uh, it gives you a lot more weight to cast, gets you a lot more distance. Um, and saying that, uh, different areas I know people down in Auckland prefer the the smaller soft baits, but um, up here you definitely you should be using big, big soft baits. Yeah. So most of the fishing that I do is from a kayak. Weight's a really big issue. I mean, I'm a big boy, so I, any extra weight that I put on it is going to be affecting the way that I fish. So not having large amounts of lead, you know, having the convenience of being able to just bring a couple of jig heads and that sort of thing, and then the soft baits, they don't hold, there's no weight to them. so. I can have a whole selection of different baits, essentially, ready to go, and 
from having one that sticks together when and doesn't get bitten off, it means that I, I sometimes only go through one soft bait a day. Or, you know, I might not even lose a soft bait. So this this is a really interesting question about patterns and weights because it's it, it seems to be a lot of um, like the Ford versus Holden debate where it's this shape or that shape. But with me, I find I, I use a, all the weights through the whole range because sometimes the fish want something that's going to be drifting down faster and then other times they want something that's going to be have more hang time. So quite often what I'll do when I'm rigging up is I'll have two rods that are exactly the same. They've got the same, same reel, same rod, same line, same leader. That they're my two primary rods and I'll put the same sized soft bait on it but one will be usually a three apes and one will be a five apes jig head for where I go fishing and so one slightly one side of one ounce and so I can sort of get to pick how the fish are feeding in that time what that whether they're wanting something that's more in the strike zone or something with more hang time I like using soft baits because it's more it's a lot more active like it's an active way to fish um, you can you can work you know the different water columns as well which is fantastic with just you changing your jig head size you can basically pick up a lot more a lot more bigger fish that I've found uh, especially wash fishing and also along those sandy edges and that as well of banks you'll never ever get a fish gut hook very very rarely will you get a gut hook fish with a soft bait okay they're clean you don't have to worry about waiting for anything to open to buy bait in the morning, you don't have to go and catch your bait in the morning. You can rock on out and you'll be fishing for the change of light. I'll look up the chart where I can sort of find where there's ledges. Generally, um, on the corner points is a good starting point on most of the islands. And I'll look for contour lines. So, you know, you'll get the seaweed coming down. And if you've got, you know, land, obviously the reef structure, you've got seaweed coming down, you've got sand. Then I'll just try and pinpoint how close. So if I'm, I'll start off right up against where the rocks are, maybe where the waves are crashing. If I get no hits, I'll come out a bit. So where the drop is happening. So I'll just go right on top of where the seaweed line is sort of thing. If I get no hits there, then I'll pull out a bit more where the, you generally where the sand meets. And then I'll try and get hits there and tug at that area. Bringing your soft bait. Uh, with the new ones from Catch, they have a little hook on the back of them. Very, very important to make sure that your soft bait is sitting the right way on your lure, okay? This one wasn't quite straight. As you see, it leans, leans over. So when your lure is coming through the water, they will spin rather than swim. You want him to swim like a paddle, okay? With the new Catch jig heads, we have a stinger hook attached. When a predator eats a fish, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to either immobilize it or kill the fish off with the tail. So what we do to protect the tail, with no tail your bait is no good. We've got a stinger hook. So what we do with the stinger hook, is we put that into the top of the fish, okay? Making sure you don't want to sit them down too far back in the tail, otherwise your bait will come up like this. We want just a little bit above the tail. Hold your bait like this, with your stinger hook. Main hook on the bottom and your stinger hook up on top, okay? stopping the fish from chewing the tail off he will get caught on that hook so that's how you want your rig to look like guys ensure that when you're putting it on nice and straight you are better off to take it off and reposition it than to throw it out not looking right i do that much of it it's not funny so it's part of my life it's, it's something that i do all, the, all day every day a lot of the day so it's uh for, for me to sum up soft baiting it's a necessary, you have to have it on your boat, otherwise you, you're going backwards.